Welcome. I'm Connie Douglas from Great Stamping with Connie. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada, and I would like to welcome you to Craft Spot. Come join my crafting adventure. It's uh, perhaps, perhaps, <laughs> there's a chance I have it all organized today. I have actually made both the cards that I'm going to share with you today. Um, I did a... I did a dry run. I did a practice. Uh, I actually crafted the cards. Okay, I know that's highly unusual, but uh, sometimes these things happen. So um, I am playing with the Golden Greenery Suite. Hmm. Not positive if that's the name of the suite, but it's uh, the Golden Greenery Bundle for sure. Um, and the, the Specialty Designer Series paper, if you were with me on Tuesday... <laughs> for Monday motivation, <laughs> you saw some of the vellum from the suite, which is beautiful. Uh, I'm not using the vellum today, but I am using some of the specialty paper with the beautiful gold in it. And I even flipped some of it over. <gasps> it was hard, but, but the backs are lovely too. So you will see all that as we go. But just before we get crafting, a couple of important things. First of all, uh, the cards that I am making and sharing with you this week, there will be three of them. And if you would like to have a kit to make those cards, all you have to do to get that kit absolutely for free is place a minimum $40 order in my online store using my current host code. Now, where the heck is my current host code, you might ask? Well, let me tell you, it uh, it. It will often be in the description here, but sometimes that information doesn't come over on Facebook for some reason. So I don't really know why, but uh, if I notice, I do put it into the comments. Of course, sometimes that will also scroll down. So uh, you may or may not find it there, but you can always find my current host code on my website, except when I close it off and forget to update the website, which may have happened yesterday. But uh, we got it all fixed up. Someone uh, emailed me and said, the host code's not working. And uh, it, it was my fault. But uh, we did get it all fixed up. And uh, so everything's good again. And that doesn't happen very often. I'm actually, usually I have, have a little routine when I close off one and I, you know, put up the next and that sort of thing. So you can go to my website and you will see both the current host code and there are links there as well so uh, whatever you find easier to use is awesome so all you have to do is place your minimum $40 order using that host code uh, you need to do that by this coming Sunday and then I will send you the kit to make or a kit to make three uh, the three cards that I share how awesome is that because they're beautiful um, okay uh, what else oh Important, important, important. <laughs> the clearance rack has been refreshed. So that was why people were shopping yesterday and needed the updated post code. But, um, it, but it has been refreshed and anything that has not sold out will still be there at wonderful savings up to 60% off. So check it out. Now, everything is only while supplies last and some things do tend to sell out very quickly. So I didn't actually look at it this morning to see what may or may not still be there, but um, there will absolutely still be products there. So go grab yourself some bargains. <laughs> okay, uh, we are coming up to the end of September. Lots of stuff happening in October. So make sure, make sure you are on my mailing list. And if you are not on my mailing list, just go to my website again. And there's a little pop-up there. And uh, you can sign up to be a part of everything and all the things. And so you will want to do that so you know what's going on. But you also want to do that so you can get the free 12 weeks of Christmas tutorials that have started to go out. So make sure you get on my mailing list if you're not already there. Okay. Oh, my website. Where is that? GreatStampingWithConnie.com. Okay. You can find me everywhere, Great Stamping with Connie, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, my website, it's all there. <laughs> okay, let's craft, shall we? All righty. 
Oh, no. There is my current host code, so you can take a screenshot of that if you like, or you could uh, jot it down, and then you will have it. And while you're doing that, I am just going to see if I can find me on here. If you're watching me, give me a hello. Uh, I always love to hear from people that are uh, watching or joining in, and uh if you uh, if you are watching either live or the replay and you leave uh, a comment on this or you share the video uh, each time you do that, I will uh, put your name in a draw because this week, because I am organized and I'm making all these cards in advance, I have doubles of everything. So I have to share them. I will be sending out uh, some of these cards and I'd love to share one with you. So make sure you comment on my videos and uh, share them. That would be awesome. I would really appreciate that. And I will uh, share some cards with some of you. <laughs> okay, Golden Greenery. This is the same uh, bundle that we used yesterday. We didn't do any stamping. So today we are going to do just a little bit of stamping. Not a whole lot, but uh, going to use some of the gorgeous paper again. And here, whoops, here is the first card that I want to share with you. So this is where I got brave and turned the paper over. But isn't that pretty? Can you see that? Look at that. It's still lovely. There's no gold, but it's still lovely, lovely greens. So... Uh, I really like that, and I just want to, I wanted to use it. <laughs> okay, let me just set this aside, and, um, oh, so getting started, I do have just a standard card base. I do have a shadow in here, not sure why, that might be a little bit better. Okay, standard card base, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. So I am just going to fold that in half and give it a nice burnish. I need to remember that I have a little smaller work area. The uh, My camera holder does not have, uh, the neck on it is not as long as I'm used to at home. So I have a little, little smaller work area, it seems. So such is life, anyway. Okay. Uh, there is that. And then we have a piece of very vanilla. And this is uh, five and a quarter by four. Okay, And you'll notice I've set it down on a piece of scrap paper because I am going to bring in one of my stamps and I'm going to bring in the Mossy Meadow ink. And we are going to do some stamping first and second generation stamping. So if you haven't done that in the past, uh, it is simply stamping and then shifting. <laughs> you don't have to shift, I just want shift. <laughs> and stamping again without inking your stamp so that you get a second generation stamp. And it's obviously uh, not nearly as intense is the idea. Just kind of twisting and turning. I have my uh, stems coming into the center because um, they're going to be hidden, right? We are going to put that uh, that center piece right over top of where we are here. So go on. Okay. Keep going around, and there's uh, there's no right or wrong to this. You just uh, you can do third generation. I find with the photopolymer sets, it does get quite faint when you do the third time, but you certainly can, and uh, it it often works with the red rubber quite nicely. There we go. So now we have our pattern. And if you want to just uh, sort of check it and make sure it's to your liking, you can bring in 
uh, our next piece of cardstock, which is four and a quarter by three and a quarter. So when I set that down, I can see, see what I have. A little, little more on one end than the other. So maybe I'll just come back and uh, just add a little bit just as if this was coming right off of that. And then just mixing and matching with the, uh, the light and the dark. Just be careful, the last time I did this, I sort of hovered over uh, something that was underneath that was not a piece of scrap paper. And I actually stamped onto my card base a little bit. It was, thankfully, it was kind of in the middle. So uh, it got covered up, <laughs> but I was like, oh, that was not wise. Oh, we should leave that there. We're not quite finished with it, are we? So I'm just gonna clean off this stamp before I move on. Okay. Uh, so the other thing that I will do while we're here is stamp the sentiment. So this is very vanilla and I have used one of the deckled circle dies. I think it is the third one from the center. If I ever uh, tell you that I've used, you know, die number four, die number two, die number five, whatever, I always count from the center of the die set. No particular reason, just that I always want to be consistent. So I count from the center and that's just how I do it. And I usually try to mention that. Um, but if I forget, check your sizing, counting from the center. It's probably <laughs> going to match. Okay, now we are finished with the stamping. Hey. Get this out of the way. So this is going to go on to our card base. Right here. So this uh, if you have been looking for this golden greenery in the catalog, um, you won't find it. It's actually, it's an online exclusive. So just, you just go on to, um, just go right to my online store and you can search for golden, you can search for greenery, you can search for golden greenery. The search uh, in our store is really quite good now. So so much better than it used to be. So it will come up when you look for it. Okay. You know me, and this is going to drive me a little bit round the bend. So I am going to share with you once again. <laughs> I share this on a regular basis. Have you noticed that? This is my uh, dental floss trick for removing the cardstock. I just want to get, get my finger under here a little bit so I can hold it. And you just pull on the dental floss. This works better if you didn't put hand cream on recently, like some of us did, but it's coming. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So it takes it off without destroying the bottom layer. Or the top layer. Now I tend to uh, just throw a little extra adhesive on when I do that. I don't know that it's needed. There's probably still lots of stick in that, but uh, just just to be certain, I just do that. Okay, that's better. Okay, there we go. Now, uh, piece of mossy metal four and one quarter by three and one quarter. And then I have three pieces of designer series paper and these are three by one and a quarter. Okay. And they are actually uh, just the reverse of each other. So 
if you place your minimum $40 order in my online store and get this kit and you want it all shiny, you can do that. Or you could do uh, one shiny and two of the green. It's entirely up to you. And just be careful because there actually is a more upright <laughs> uh, way to put this paper down. So um, I think I found that out the hard way one time so just I I flipped this centerpiece around not that it's going to matter because there is not an up and a down to the little cold starburst but uh, it just made me think because I saw it sitting upside down check the others I did have those the right way so it would have been okay but this is really safe <laughs> okay I've got those guys all uh, stickied up and then I am going to start with the middle piece. And I'm just going to put it down. I'm not going to press it down yet. I'm just going to kind of lay it down in about the center. I'm not sure I have that quite in the center, but that's why we're not pushing it down just yet. It's going to have to go over this way. That's what it, it looks like. Let's go slide that a little bit right now. And then hopefully there's room for this guy. It should go a little bit more. Make sure they're all looking even top to bottom. starting to stick. <laughs> okay, there we go. Flip it over, give it a nice press, and we are finished with that for now. Okay, then for our sentiment, I have, um, this, this was de deckled circle number three. This is deckled circle number four, done in our uh, beautiful shiny gold foil. So I am going to uh, use dimensionals on this guy. You could use dimensionals on either layer. I know uh, some of you would use dimensionals on both layers, but <laughs> I'm just going to uh, pop up this layer. And then I think I'll do the other one flat on my card front. Don't know whether the post office gets more fussy or less fussy at the during the holidays. Uh, and I don't know that two dimensionals is too much. I don't think that it is. I think you're still okay, but there's just a little more risk that it'll catch in the machine. So, so we just won't take that chance. Okay, so that's ready. And then I am just going to put this onto the card base. This centered right about there. <laughs> Looks pretty good. Give that a press and then I'm going to put this on. And as I mentioned, I am just going to do this on flat, not with a second dimension. You could do it the other way around. You could put the dimensionals under the gold foil if you wanted. There course is no right or wrong <laughs> and then we need some gems so I'm using the uh, adhesive backed metallic gems again that I used yesterday uh, oh but that does remind me and you'll see these on the next card uh, if you place a minimum $40 order I will send you this card kit for free for the three cards that I share this week if your order is over $75, I will also send you a pack of gems. So there. So you get the free card kit and a free package of gems. So it's, uh, it's a, a big, bigger bonus, more fun, more crafting, more, more gems. <laughs> How good is that, right? 
And then I'm just going to pop a couple of these over here. There we go. And there you have it. There is the first card for today. Okay. I have one more card to show you, and I am using the Golden Greenery uh, bundle again, although you kind of, <laughs> you might not know, <laughs> not right away anyway, because there's hardly any green on it, although there is lots of gold. So here is the second card. Um, I love greens for Christmas, but you know what? Every now and again, you got to put some red in. So this card is uh, Cherry Cobbler, and I've mixed it with black and uh, and then the gold foil and very vanilla design specialty designer series paper that is part of the same package uh, as I've been using on the other cards as well. So this is just another one of them. Okay, so here we go. Maybe need to move this out of my way a little bit. Okay, standard card base, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Just going to give that a nice burnish. There we go. And then I have a piece of cherry cobbler and it is five and a quarter by four. And I have embossed it with the, uh, I think it's called diamonds. Uh, no, it's not. Not at all. It's called Dashing Designs. Uh, and that's a 3D embossing folder. So Dashing Designs is what that is. Can you see that? It was very dark. You probably can't even see the pattern. There you go. Um, so it's little little dots and dashes. Some are raised, some are depressed. Oh, there's uh, almost looks like there's triangles in there. So little tiny shapes uh, in crisscross kind of patterns. So uh, creates a, a very interesting background. Okay, and then we have a piece of designer series paper, and it is four inches by two inches. It's actually specialty designer series paper because it's got that beautiful foil. And then we have um, a sentiment piece, and this is a die cut from the changing leaves. So I used changing leaves last week, so you may recognize this uh, one of the the dies in that set. Uh, that's also the card class for tonight is changing leaves. So if you are coming to the card class, you have some of these in your kit. <laughs> uh, deck gold circle. I'm kind of on a deck gold circle roll. I really like these. They're just interesting. Basic black once again. And then I also have a banner for my sentiment in basic black. And this is a stylish shapes banner. So it's a die cut. Um, not sure if you'll be able to see the stitching on the edge there, but it is stitched on the edge. Uh, and it that's the largest banner. So we're just going to mount our sentiment on that. And then I'm sorry, but it looks so pretty. <laughs> Fussy cut. <laughs> Fussy cut bells. Uh, so you will get a, a piece of this specialty paper in your kit that you will have the joy and pleasure of fussy cutting. <laughs> yes. And then there's a piece of very vanilla five by three and three quarters for the inside of the card. So we'll put a little stamping on that as well in a moment. Okay. So sentiment piece. So this time uh, I am going to use this Merry Christmas. This is from Reindeer fun reindeer yeah reindeer fun and it's just a, a lovely straight across merry christmas i could have used um the other one which is from the uh this is part of the uh suite that we're using the bundle from yeah. and it's two words so you can make it long or you can stack it whatever you wish but this one was uh was all ready to go so you know for those of us not wanting to do any more work, we can just mount and stamp. So that's what I've used for this one. Cherry Cobbler ink to go with our background there. And there we go. Merry Christmas. Okay. 
cleaned off. And then while we are here and have our ink out, I am going to just I'm going to grab this again because I will need it. And that stamping off and second generation stamping that we did before, we're just going to do that again on here. So I'm just going to, oh, <laughs> no, I almost did this last time as well. So this is the solid bell. So I'm just going to stamp it off on there. And then I am going to stamp it on my berry vanilla. And as you can see, it comes out quite light, which is exactly what we wanted. So um, because then I'm going to come in with this other stamp. So this is two step stamping for these bells. I'm just going to add this detail and I want it to be darker so that you can see it. So there we go. And that will just go on the inside of our card. All right. So we, oh, 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 oh. I think it's okay. See, this is why you uh, you move your cards out of the way. This just was sitting at the very edge of that ink pad, but it's okay. It it didn't get into it, so we're we're all good, thankfully. Okay. Uh, okay. So let's put this guy together. Don't need that anymore. Oops, I do need this. Okay. So because uh. The back of this is uh, quite textured. I am going to use my liquid glue to put this piece on. And just If you are new to liquid glue, always remember that less is way more appropriate. <laughs> you do not need a lot of this glue. And um, in fact, you don't want a lot of this glue because it becomes very sticky and messy. And so just uh, be stingy with it. <laughs> um, it does dry clear, but it's uh, shiny. So you don't, you don't want to see it. And you don't want that sticky stuff everywhere. So just be, be stingy, as I say. Okay, now on this card, I popped up the sentiment on my banner again, the same way that I did um, on the last card. So let's do that again. Just come in here with my dimensionals. If I could get the box off, it would be terrific. <laughs> Not working so well today. Okay. Go. As I mentioned, there's lots of uh, lots of new things going on in October. Um, there's going to be some new online exclusives that will be available for pre-order. So pre-order is just for demonstrators. As a demonstrator, we get early access to things. So that's just <laughs> terrific. Um, and you can have early access to things by joining my team. But wait till October because there's an awesome special coming uh, on our joy. Joining anytime is a great deal, but... Uh, it's being, the pot is being sweetened, shall we say. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, I'm also going to put dimensionals onto my bells. So, actually, I just want some small ones to go across the bottom here. There we go. Get this onto the black. I haven't used black for a card base for a Christmas card for quite some time. I do I remember years ago <laughs> back 
I don't even think it was Mary Merlot. I think it was Bravo Burgundy. And I had done some Christmas cards with uh, Bravo Burgundy cardstock. And I think with Very Vanilla again, kind of goes together and black. And they were stunning. They were beautiful. But it's not, not something you necessarily think <laughs> to, to use for Christmas cards. So but I was trying to trying to think about what to do for this card. And I thought, oh, I actually had some, uh, I was looking through my card bases and uh, came across a black one. And that's what made me think, hmm, maybe. <laughs> so that was how that all happened. There we go. Yeah, I'm just gonna use some glue on here since we have it out and rolling. And then onto here as well. Again, because this is kind of bumpety. <laughs> so you just want a thin streak of the glue, but it will ooze and squish into all those little crevices and make sure that it uh, sticks down nicely. If you use your tape runner, you can use tape runner. Just it tends to sit on the high part. So you just have to make sure you have very good coverage when you're doing that. And then we'll put this on the inside. There we go. And then, so here are, where did they go? <laughs> here are, here are the, uh, these are the earth tone, earth tone, earth tone shimmer gems. <laughs> Say that three times fast. Uh, so if your order is $75 or more, you will get the card kit for the three cards that I share this week, as well as a package of these lovely shimmer gems. And this, in case you're wondering, is uh, very vanilla. So it shows off um, this paper nicely. Does anybody hear me? There we go. Okay. So there you have it. Those are the cards for today. But let me just bring them back in here. There we go. Again, Golden Greenery, it is an awesome bundle. Lots of, uh, and the paper, it, it really is the paper that makes it so extra special. It is specialty paper, so that's, <laughs> that's always something that is uh, kind of attractive. Let me just come back here with you. There we go. Alrighty. Oh. A little bit of glare on there, isn't there? Maybe if I, usually if you pop it up, tilt it up, does that help? Maybe a little bit, a little less glare. <laughs> Everything's so shiny. <laughs> it must be Christmas. <laughs> uh, anyway, those are the cards that I wanted to share with you today. I hope you like them. And uh, if, again, if you would like to have a kit to make uh, the three cards that I share this week, uh, all you have to do is place an order in my online store, $40 or more, and I will send you the free card kit, uh, $75 or more, and I will also include a package of those Earth Tone Shimmer Gems. So I'd love to send you some goodies. <laughs> we all love goodies, don't we, free things? Um, but yes, I would love to do that to thank you for supporting my small business. Okay, thanks so much for hanging out with me. I hope that we can craft together again really soon. Take care, everyone. Bye for now.